Looks like she was beaten to death. It's pretty gruesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks for following up. Nice work. Cost me 50 bucks. How's that? Gave winners over here 10 to 1 odds your snitch was talking crap. First snitch. Hey, can you do me a favor and make the appropriate notifications? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Like I said, it was just a hunch. Sienna's story was a little too weird to be fake. I'm sorry if I overstepped. You did. Well, at least now you know Sienna isn't playing you, right? You know, we ran her prints. They're not in the system. My CI doesn't know her name either, but her friend's name is Isabel Perez, and she's dating the same guy that looks good for this murder. What do we know about her? Isabel? Yeah. Uh, Latina, 21. Used to work on and off at a strip club on the west side, place called Alibi. Yeah, so we think her boyfriend killed the Jane Doe. Yeah, yeah. And maybe Isabel, too, because she's been missing three weeks. I tried tracking her phone. It's dead. All right, we'll talk to your CI again, see what you can find out. Meanwhile, let's dig into this Jane Doe. What's her name? What's her story? She was blunt force trauma. She was beaten repeatedly with a long object like a pipe or a tire iron. You can tell by the parallel tracks. When did she die? Based on decomp about a month ago. Find any evidence on the body? We're running semen samples now. Sexual assault? Hard to say. No tearing of tissues. Any offensive or defensive wounds? No. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. Probably a newer killer. That syncs up with the CI story, boyfriend, kill girlfriend. Mm -hmm. There's one other thing worth pointing out. She's had lots of cosmetic procedures. Injections into the breast, buttocks, lips. All right, we'll get a list of nearby plastic surgeons. Probably a waste of time. It appears she was injected with motor oil. So this guy, Isabel, is with really kill somebody? Damn. It looks that way. We found the body behind the Wyatt factory, just like Isabel said. I'm glad I told you about it. I wasn't sure, you know, Izzy, she says a lot of wacky things, but this was crazy, even for her. Hmm. I can't have no felony on my record. I'll never get a good job at a restaurant. I'm training to be a chef. That's great. So just stay focused. Do what I need you to do, and you'll be fine. Let's start at the beginning, OK? Where was Isabel living before she met Dee? A shelter? Like a charity thing? You know, beds, counselors, food. Izzy was always trying to get her life right. She just never could. What's it called? No, she doesn't look familiar. But we talk to over 100 women a month. Many of them are timid and are so scared they won't even tell us their real names. But we let them in nonetheless. What's this about? She was reported missing. Can we look through some of your files? Of course, yeah, I can help with that. Great, thanks, Mom. OK, you're right. Isabel Perez, here she is. Well, turns out she's been here several times. Well, when was the last time she was here? Two months ago? Uh, Amanda was her counselor. Amanda, the police were asking about someone named Isabel Paris. Why, did something happen to her? We're not sure. We just want to ask a few questions. Sure. The truth is, I'm glad you're here. I've been worried about her. I've been calling and texting her. When but... was the last time you heard from her? About three weeks ago. Chicago PD! Time to go, ma'am. Give me that. Don't come back. This isn't a real doctor. Uh, I never said I was a real doctor. I don't operate. I don't do surgery. I just... You I... just inject women with motor oil. We're trying to find one of your patients. Recognize her? Uh, yeah. Isabel, I think. Her last name is Perez. OK, what about her boyfriend? Do you know his name? No. What about her? You recognize her? She was one of your patients. Her name was Sylvia Castro. Same boyfriend as Isabel. We want a name now. And given what's going on here, you're going to want to cooperate, because you're going to need all the help you can get. It's a male Hispanic approaching from the east. Let's go. Up no, no, this is true. I need to drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Oh, nice. Oh, no, no, no. 
Isabel. Yeah, I didn't know they were here. I was trying to set you up. Why did you shoot her? Please don't die. 5021, Frank, emergency. Shots fired by the police. Offender down. Stop hurting him, Liz. Stop hurting him. West Irving. Renew. Just breathe. <laughs> Damon, hey, wake up. Chicago PD. I'm Sergeant Voigt, this Detective Alinsky. Need to ask you some questions. Uh, lawyer. Hey, look at me. Trust me when I tell you, this will go a lot easier if you cooperate. So where are you keeping the girls? You think I'm stupid? No, we already have Isabel. <laughs> she loves me more than you can possibly imagine. The second you get discharged from here, you're going to jail. And those girls, they're going to find a new pimp. Yeah. When they do, they will give you up for a slice of pizza. You could think they're locked up. And one of them has diabetes, too. Mm. Needs insulin. Yeah, well, they die. That just goes on your tab, too. So do yourself a favor and tell us where they are while you still have a chance to make a deal. All right. I'll tell you where they are. When you offer me total immunity. Until then, you can kiss my Colombian ass. Kiss his Colombian ass. Guy I knew. He had a real bad accident. Motorcycle accidents years ago. I mean, he was in a lot of pain. He ended up dying in the hospital. But it wasn't from his injuries. You know what ended up getting him? A morphine overdose. Yeah, they just figured somebody punched in the wrong numbers. Uh, happens all the time. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if I die, the, so I'll do the girls. No, no, I'll just find them a different way. You're bluffing. Am I? Last chance, Damien. Like I said, kiss my ass. You see this face? You get a good look at it. It's the last thing you're ever gonna see. Mr. Soto? Hank. Excuse me. Hey, Doc. He's all yours. 